Welcome people of YouTube! The Zygons have turned against us again. Bet no one saw that come in. <laughs> to be fair, it isn't all of them. It's a radicalised group of them that are killing everyone that doesn't believe in their desire for world domination. Sound familiar? I really enjoyed this episode, but it made me feel a bucket full of emotions because it's actually happening, not with Zygons, but with people, with actual human people in the world. And they're even sending the authorities video footage of the killings that they're doing, which is genuinely happening now, which is really sad. We need the Doctor too, it seems, slash President of the World in his questionable underpants. It seems that my favourite episodes are the ones where the Doctor needs to be President of the World. Everyone's running around fearing for their lives, fearing for their families' lives, in hiding, they don't know if they're going to live or survive, and these are my favourite episodes, what is wrong with me? I could practically hear the whole of London yelling at their television screens when that soldier was going to go into the church. I could tell she wasn't his mum. How could she not know the name of his teddy bear? Dead giveaway. Mum, if you're listening, mine was called Charlie Francis. But it shows just how powerful their defence mechanisms are. They can literally turn into our loved ones and use that to manipulate our emotions. And we would all fall for it. We knew that she wasn't his mum. He knew she wasn't his mum. But it's the thought of killing her and having that replaying in his mind for the rest of his life that stopped him. The thought beforehand of what if she is and then the thought afterwards of what have I done? It's a really powerful weapon to use. And so many people died. Can I stress this point? Because it's really important. Because previously, people would die and then we'd see them two series later. Whereas now people are actually dead. And I know that's really wrong of me to enjoy that fact, but it makes it real. So we actually fear for the characters' lives instead of going, oh, they're dead, but they'll be back soon. And it really makes us fall in love with the characters and want to bring them back to life not be forced to accept that they've come back to life. Like when Jack died with her team, evil Zygon Clara turned against them and they were just executed on the spot and they hadn't actually done anything wrong and it was just really heart-wrenching. But these people are actually dead, I think. Which is sad, but it needed to happen in a story like this. It's an alien invasion after all. However, if the second part somehow resolves itself by, let's say, never happening, I think you know what story I'm on about, then I may have to cause a few deaths just to write it. Oh, Clara is in trouble again and it's really important because she's a precious flower and no harm should come to her. I will say that Kate's reactions weren't what I expected. For example, when the Zygon transformed in front of her, she looked like she was watching a really bad episode of Strictly Come Dancing. She just sort of sat there like, oh, no. She was quite bland in this episode if I'm honest. I liked her in previous ones but in this one the only reason I can think of why they would send her in on her own is the fact that she could probably bore them to death. Jenna Coleman is actually a really good actress however Clara is very dull so she hasn't had a chance to perform properly. She's been made to play a two-dimensional character that has been forced to try and be three-dimensional like a fridge with too many magnets on it. But being an evil Zygon was really working for her because it was a proper backstory, a proper character to play instead of someone that's just in love with adventure because who isn't? So to recap, Clara that we've seen through the second half of the episode is actually a Zygon and she's shot down the plane carrying the Doctor and Osgood, shrouding a Zygon. Kate is dead, she probably isn't. The Doctor and Osgood, shrouding a Zygon, are dead. They most certainly are not. But who knows? Overall, good episode, and I'm really, really, really looking forward to part two. Let us know what you thought by commenting below, and let us know your verdict by going onto the 5 Fans website. And I shall see you all next week. Although I don't know how the Doctor's going to get out of this one. Where are the Time Lords from? Somewhere Mars. So somewhere Mars. Mars. Wales. Mordor. What are you doing in my flat? I, I, I run out of tea. Get out. Uh, get out!